Full Scope Satellite Network. All right, this guy. Returning to the show for uh, some reason we can't explain anyway. He spent eight seasons in the league playing offensive linemen for the Panthers, Vikings, Chiefs when they weren't that good. Anyway, seventh <laughs> round pick out of Oregon uh, was recently ranked by Big Game Boomer as one of the top 100 college football media personalities. But uh, they put him at number 30, though. So, you know, kind of so mediocre. Still anyway. mediocre. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, uh, as we already told you, here's the single worst podcast title in the whole world. Oh. Uh, it's called Jeff Schwartz is Smarter Than You. So that leads to our first question, Jeff. Who listens to your show? Seventh graders? And eighth graders? Ninth graders? I, I got to say, guys, I didn't see you on any big game boomer list. So I, I must be better than you guys if I can make a list. Well, we told them ahead of time, keep us off yeah. your list. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. You well, know, yeah. we had to excuse ourselves during, due to being number one for eight straight yes, years. So, yes, exactly. Know. Uh, of course. Yes. Everyone, everyone listen to my podcast. Be my guest. Any, any age, preferably, as you mentioned, seventh graders are best. Yes. It's actually below the reading comprehension. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm glad I have two listeners and you guys. I, I need I need those numbers. Thank you. Yeah, they, your listenership just doubled. There you go. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> all right, first up, let's get into this. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, they're making a big deal over the Eagles losing to the 49ers by 23 points, but that's because they don't understand strategy, Jeff. You know, no. what you want to do, as you know, you want to give the other team a false sense of confidence. Exactly. So when you face them again in the playoffs, they think they don't need to prepare. Don't you agree that it was smart of the Eagles yep. to completely tank that game on purpose? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's one way you want to spin it. Um, look, I will. Uh, I'll oh. give you. I, I will. I will say this. Then I'll it spin was a, you. What? It, it was yeah. a. It was a. A tough. It's been a tough stretch. It will continue to be a tough stretch for the Eagles. I understand sort of the mental, physical part of the second half of that game, just after playing the Chiefs and the Bills in overtime, and the Niners. Just you know, the Niners have been waiting for this game for a year now, right? They've wanted to win this game and prove that last year was some sort of fluke, which I don't think it was. And so the Niners are ready for this game. No, and I think Philly, okay. the emotional part of it, the physical part of it was tough to overcome. And look, in a rematch, in a rematch, the loser, in my opinion, has the advantage because they can make the the, yeah. the, the, the changes physically. They can make the changes uh, you know, schematically. But it doesn't mean that they tanked this game. They wanted to win this game. But if they win this game, if they would have won. They would have almost guaranteed themselves – the one seat, they would have been three games up. On the wait, 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 you just, you just completely reversed on yourself. They, yeah. You have schizophrenia or I something? Said, You're arguing I with said, yourself? No, I'm arguing with myself. I said in a rematch, oh. it favors the loser. That doesn't mean that you should lose games to favor a rematch. You might not play this team again. Are you are you, gonna, are you guaranteed a spot in the NCAA championship game? Yes. You know that already? Oh, you are? Yes. Okay. Yes. You got the script from... The, uh, the, the, the NFL script showed up in your office already? No. Oh. You need a script because you're getting yeah. lost with your ideas there. You know, yeah, you say exactly. one thing and you, you argue it again. It's just all over. Just make sure you guys win this weekend, though. If you lose this weekend, it, it might all come crumbling down. Yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, don't worry about that. Yeah, Please. By the way, Here's the see, script uh, for you. If you saw the news, did you see uh, Mike McCarthy just came down with appendicitis? Don't you think yep. this is more poor clock management from McCarthy, you know, like you yeah. got to get that appendix out before he it should have taken out the appendicitis back in August. Well, is this the same theory though, that he's, he's purposely taking this game to play you guys again in the playoffs. He's, he, his body's just doing it for him. Yeah. He's scared. Yep. He's yep. scared. His appendix, his appendix is scared of showing up. Yes. That's why it burst. It exploded. He looked at the schedule and was like, Oh, <laughs> shit, we got the Eagles this week. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Danny went to the hey, hospital. Is, it, is that the noise he made when when, when it exploded? Did yeah, it again? he said, yeah. wait, is Aaron Rodgers my quarterback? Oh, no, it's Dak. Uh, and then hospital. <laughs> yeah, Yo, it yeah, would do that to good. anybody. Cowboys are playing well, though. Yo, you better watch out, man. You They're better watch out. Eagles. Play well. The refs had to help them beat the Seahawks. They haven't beaten a 500 team yet. That is that is very fair. That's the thing with the Cowboys, right, is that – is they they have to prove it against a team with a winning record, right? They got blasted by the Niners, lost to the yep. Eagles. There you Look, go. If, if the Cowboys yep. can't win this one, then there's no belief, in my opinion, on them at all in the, in the postseason. This is set up perfect. Eagles, again, have played three really tough games. Cowboys have it. They're on rest. I will tell you guys, they kind of screwed the Eagles. They, they gave the Eagles an a, a opponent. What else is no? The, they give the Niners 10 days to prepare for you guys and the exactly. Cowboys. 10 days to prepare for the Eagles. I'm with you guys there. I, I'm with you. 
See that, Paulie? It reeks of conspiracy. You know, yep, exactly. you're on to something here because, you know, Roger yeah. Goodell, he wants to ban the tush push. Don't you think this is proof that the NFL yeah. is clearly biased against the Eagles? Yeah. I'm with you on this one. I don't think it's conspiracy. There but, you go. But I, don't think, but I don't think they should ban it. It's a skill play for the Eagles. The Eagles have mastered this skill of running this play and they shouldn't ban it because no one else can do it correctly or no one else can stop it. Eagles have figured out a way to, to sort of game the system. If, if if another team ran a play that was so good, it couldn't be stopped, but they ban it? No. Exactly. Been, and no. That, this is what so, leads me back yeah. to you. If Jeff Schwartz is so smart, according to you, why didn't you come up with the tush push? Yeah, You're an <laughs> offensive I, lineman. I, 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 I'm not smart enough for that, man. I'll tell you that. The truth that comes is a, out. It's a Sirianni special, man. I, I, the, it's a great idea. It's worked really well. You know what? The, the guy who, who, who does it, who makes it work is Jason Kelsey. Like he, he his yeah. ability to... To get low and and kind of drive on his on his you know his all fours and move yeah. forward and allow Hurts. I'll give you I'll, I'll give you the one thing that I think also makes it work really well too is Jalen Hurts. If you watch him, Big he ass. doesn't go right away. Sure, he's lost yeah. six hundred pounds. Yeah, first time anyone's ever told you that before. I bet. So I'm smarter than you guys. Um, oh, he no. takes a snap and he sort of waits a split second and then he goes. So he sort of waits for his offensive lineman to, to move forward a little bit and he sort of rides on t- on their back as he gets pushed. A lot of quarterbacks take that snap and just go right now. And when they do that, they kind of lose their momentum. They hit the offensive lineman. So Hurts does a good job with it. And he squats 600 pounds. So it's, it's – it, it, you know, Because you are an expert in this because you have played with your fair share of inept quarterbacks who don't know how to play football. <laughs> yeah. I, I have. Yeah. Like uh, I, Jimmy Clausen. Yeah. I, 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 Christian Ponda. I have not played my entire career with the best, with the best of quarterbacks. Um, but uh, we made a playoffs with Christian Ponder. So, uh, you know, that was a good year there. Jimmy Clausen year was bad. I'll tell you that. It wasn't good. You know, did you ever ponder when you were playing with him? Like, why should I bother blocking for this guy? He sucks so bad. <laughs> hey, man. I, my job is to block. It doesn't matter who the quarterback is. If you guys want to play quarterback behind me, I block for you guys too. I, I would hate it. Okay. I would generally yeah, hate it. But okay. Was there ever a quarterback, you know, who you just, you know, let a, had an ole, let him get hit. And again, was that guy Jimmy Clausen? Yeah. It was not Jimmy Clausen. It's my, I can't get people, I get fired if people get hit. I want to keep my job. I want to make my money, man. I want to keep my job. I, I'm, not, I'm not letting anyone go by me like that. Not on purpose. It's happened though. Not on purpose though. Okay, well, you know, that was a strategic miss by you because, you know, yep. if you replaced about every quarterback you played for, they'd probably play better anyway. Yep. Okay, exactly. let's move to your brother. Talking about struggling quarterbacks, your brother Mitchell Schwartz, right? He yes. used to block for Mahomes. Now now you see Mahomes just playing like absolute trash garbage. Dog shit. Whoa, yo. whoa. Hold on, let me just get Come, to my question, hey. okay? Yeah. Has your brother called you and said anything like, hey, you know, uh, look at that f- Loser, uh, can't win without me. Talentless, <laughs> f- totally sucks now. You know anything like that? <laughs> he has he has not called me to use those terms about the Chiefs. Offense. No, oh, uh, I'm not, I'm, I think you're the first Surprising. person ever ever uh, to ever say this is about Patrick Mahomes. Congratulations there. Um, Thank yeah, you. it's not it's, it's not the best right now, but I, I think they'll figure it out. They, you know, they'll, they'll beat the Eagles again. In, in, in the Super Bowl, in a rematch, I'll tell you that. What? No, what do you no, mean again? No, first what do you of mean all, again? The Eagles' offense outscored the yeah. Chiefs' offense. Eagles so won. In that, in that terms, Mahomes did not win the Super Bowl. What, no, what the, he got what, outscored. What the scoreboard? What the, what the scoreboard? Say no, the Mahomes yeah. got outscored by Jalen oh, Hurts. Okay, so 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 the final score was what? 35, 31. To 38, exactly. 35. Now you're okay. getting oh. it. This is where you're using those smarts. You We're helping make have. Jeff Schwartz smarter. There you go. So the so it's thirty. It was thirty five, thirty one. You add the seven other points on the fumble. Now you get no. the score. Oh, those points don't count. Offense to oh. offense, apples to apples. I've seen first <laughs> graders with a better grasp on math than you. Unbelievable. Yeah, I, Let's you just guys, move I, along. I, I, just... I come on here and you guys insult me this entire time. I'm trying to be nice to you guys, and this is what I get. You started with the whole Jeff Schwartz smarter than you. I am smarter than you guys. I know that. It's very clear. See? Oh, I see. You want to oh, test okay. smarts. All right. Let's yeah. talk science, Jeff. Science here. Zach Wilson, he reportedly didn't want to resume starting for the Jets out of fear of being injured. Okay? Now, we know people can suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, but do you think Zach Wilson is suffering from post-traumatic Jets disorder? Yes. This is actually the best explanation I've heard about. What's happening there right now? The Jets, think about this. They they had Zach Wilson as their starter. He wasn't playing well. 
they benched him. It didn't, didn't make him second. It made him third string. So they said, you know what? You're exactly. so bad, you can't even play. And the guy they put in there for two weeks, they just straight out cut that kid, got rid of him, yes. and put Zach Will in complete dysfunction. An yeah. unserious, unserious franchise. Yeah, they gave him PTJD, yeah. and then now they want to put him back in? I mean, yes. it's almost as ridiculous as having Jimmy Clausen as your starting quarterback. Yes. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yes. Fair, yeah. That, you know what? That's a good comparison. I'll give you that one. Yes. I'm coming See, around to you guys a little go. bit. Maybe. Right. Hey, there you go. Okay. All right. Hold on. So, you know, that, that site, whatever it was, rank you number 32 or whatever. Yeah, Puma on something. The college. So let's just talk yeah. college football. Maybe you'll be a little better at that, okay? You okay, know, you. there's outrage after Florida State didn't make it into their, uh, you know, playoff there because the QB's injured. But don't these idiots out there know that when your QB gets injured, your team actually plays better because everyone yeah. knows they have to step up. You know, you saw this with the uh, Foles. You know, Cardell Jones, um, you know, other other, other people. guys. Uh, too. Yeah, could, yeah. No, only two examples. Couldn't we argue that teams should actually deliberately injure their quarterbacks, you know, and that <laughs> would help inspire Wait. the team? Yeah. So you think that the that Eagles should, injury, should, should purposely injure your quarterback to inspire the team? Is that what we're going with here? Yeah. You know, maybe if you weren't trying so hard to block, you'd have a Super Bowl ring right now. Exactly. This is, this is why I'm smarter than you guys. because You come up with these terrible things about football, these terrible ideas, and try to pass them off as real actual things. That, that oh, really? I, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't appreciate this. Yeah. No one should. Oh, yeah. Really well, I guess we're going to have a terrible, idea. terrible idea. idea. I'll yeah. give you a great idea. And that's kicking your ass off the show. Guess what? Get you right, think right, Jeff right, Schwartz, right. the show isn't is with right. you because you're off the show. Jay, hang up the you, phone. You know, if there's one thing he's going to have to go change is that podcast title. Yeah, it should be You're Smarter Than Jeff Schwartz. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 